muted. That's why. Hi, how is everybody? <laughs> I was talking to you for about three minutes, completely muted. So <laughs> yay. Awesome. We got Mark, Michelle, Eric, Texas. Feels like Texas here. It is December and I think we're going to get up to 60 today. So crazy. Hi, Alan. This is fun. Welcome everybody. Oh, Pierre, Mark, this is so much fun. Oh yeah. See some old familiar faces. Hi, Steve. Hi, how are you? Good. Great. Glad you could join us. Jeff. Yeah, I love yeah, it when people too. post hello in the comments. Cause then I get some, I I'm, I'm recording this. So it's mainly just me on the view. I'm going to go to everybody gallery. There we go. Mark, Nico, my son's name is Nico. Neil. Very nice. Very cool. All right. You guys, all right. What's the, you guys already check it out. What's happening here. Anybody, any guesses what it is, what the big announcement is? I'd love to, I, I know nobody is going to guess it completely. Well, but um, launching, yes. <clears throat> 79 in Palm Strings, dang. All right, agency, Mark, yay. Yes, you are right. Cardacto. How, how many guys have checked it out? 72, okay, we're all, it's like spring. <laughs> <laughs> you know, can I just share a story while we're waiting for everybody to get on? I woke up at like four in the morning about a month ago, so excited about Christmas. And I have a little one and he loves nutcrackers. So I discovered a way that you can make these life-size nutcrackers. So as I'm going through the internet, trying to figure out how to do this, and it's like four in the morning. Okay. So I'm like, Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. And then up pops this ad where you can order them for like 30 bucks. I'm like, Oh yeah, I'll do that. I'll take two. And I throw them in the basket. I order them. And afterwards I'm looking at the receipt and the things are nine foot tall and coming from somewhere in China. And I still haven't gotten them. They said they delivered them a week ago. They're like, somebody signed for them. I'm like, these things are nine feet tall. I think we would know if somebody got these. So as I'm speaking, if some nutcrackers show up, I'm just going to finish this thing because I've been waiting a month for these guys. <laughs> <laughs> My nine foot nutcrackers. All right. So, um, hope you guys are all having fun for Christmas and stuff like that. Let's kick this off. It's top of the hour and people will be coming in. And, uh, I am so excited, so excited about this because one, it came together in a very short period of time. And what I'm talking about is the agency launch. But the second thing is, is, when I first got into entrepreneurship, the reason I did it is because I had my mobile app, Gratitude Journal, and it took a lot of work to keep it sustained. And so I started creating apps for other people uh, to sustain my other habit, habits, hobbies, hobbies and stuff. So starting an agency is a really great way to instantly bring income into your life. And you guys are at the forefront because audio is completely changing. I, I see it everywhere, private podcasts everywhere. And most people don't know about it because they aren't looking for it. They haven't stumbled across it, but you're in the forefront for one, you're in the bleeding edge of this blue ocean so do you guys understand what I mean by blue ocean? It's like you have these waters with the fish where you can go fishing and there's no sharks in there yet. And it's not all bloodied up with a bunch of other people eating up all the fish. So it's all just ripe for the picking and um, you get out in front. So what we want to do at Hero is we want to make sure that you guys have everything you need, whether you're a seasoned agency owner, 
or you want to just try this out yourself, we want to make sure you have everything. So what I did was I looked back at when I was running my agency, what took me the most amount of time? What was the most amount of headaches? And I tried to take all those things, bundle it all up, put a little bow on it and bring it to you guys. In addition to hero agency level. So how many of you guys want to see what we got for you today? We got three, three big things, maybe four. I don't know. Maybe we'll uh, do a bunch of fun stuff. Yeah. Mark wants to, I know Mark does. <laughs> All right. So um, how many of you guys checked it out already? How many of you logged into hero and took a look at what we released? We released it yesterday and um it's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. <laughs> I wish I could do that. Oh, one day. Um, so uh, we released it yesterday. And because it is such a big update, we had to re-architecture how things worked in the app. Some things broke. Okay. So if you're already using Hero, I'm going to walk through what you need to do to uh, make things work again. I think some of you guys are already like, wait, what's happening? So um, let me just jump over to Hero and let me, okay, let me see. Where is it? Well done. Don't you just love it when you're doing a demo and you can't even get the demo going. Share screen. There we go. There it is. Yay. Okay. So here we have our demo and I'm going to pull up all your comments and questions. I think, where are they? Show me comments. Ah, anyway, I'll keep that. So here is the new login. So if you see this, you know, you're in the new code. We redid this screen because I was bored with the old one. So I redesigned it. And when you come in, if you already have an existing account, you're going to see that we moved a few things around. For example, the profile page is now right down here. Okay. Because you may have multiple users under or multiple creators under one account. And so the, if you have one account, this will be your profile page. Oh, it's going to ask me to pay because I don't pay for my my work in ERD. So it's kind of buggy. Um, I don't pay for my own software. Oh my gosh. I might have to buy an account today. Okay. You can add accounts here and here's the pricing. Here's what we thought about with the pricing. Uh, we recently increased our prices. So one account is $97 per month and you can't buy annual. Okay. With the creator accounts, we have, you're getting five accounts and each account is only $20 a month. And you can go or turn around and charge whatever you want to your clients to set them up. Okay. So if you're setting up a show for somebody else, you can charge them a hundred bucks. If you want, you can charge them nothing if you want. You can do it as a free service, doesn't matter. But we sell it in bundles in five for one year. And the reason we do a year is because we want you to stick it out. We want you to be able to um, keep get that client some success. It really kind of sometimes takes that you have to put your feet to the fire. And one thing we did from the get-go is we were going to charge to have a creator account and then pay, have you pay for each additional account you add in. But we thought, no, that's too complicated. We want you to know exactly what your expenses will be each month or each year. So you don't have to guess. Now, let's say you go in here and you're at a business account already and you're on one of our old, if you are on one of our legacy plans, don't worry. We didn't, up, we're not increasing your rates. You stay at the rate that you're at forever. Okay. So I want to make that clear. 
But if you choose to go to agency and you get those five accounts and then you're like, nope, this isn't for me. You can always go back to business or solo. Okay. And I believe this is what I tried to do with my developers is if you go back, you go back to your legacy plans, not to the new plans. So if you want to try it and then you decide, okay, it's not for me, you can do that. All right. So that is, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get into uh, dev because I think I actually have, there we go. So here's what happens when you have an additional account. Can you guys see my screen with two accounts on the screen? Okay. So here's what happens when you have accounts. It'll just switch between the two. Okay. So here's my account and then it'll switch to the next account and you'll see the next account doesn't have a phone number set up. So you would go into the creator settings. Well, see here's need them to uh, change my, my thing so I can, oh, you know what? I think I can do this. Start plan. Oh, shoot. Okay. It's because I don't have credit cards on file for my accounts. That's why. But um, all of the settings for the emails, the URLs, everything is specific to that creator. It's specific to that creator. So you can have multiple creators and multiple accounts, multiple emails, multiple URLs, multiple sales pages, all under one account. All right. So let me go into, uh, let's see, where can I find out what Euro is? Hi, Jeff. <laughs> you must, Euro is an audio software program. <laughs> I should probably start there, right? I'm like way off into how you can make money as an agency owner. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you, Colleen, for taking care of him. That's funny. I, I, my bad. Sometimes I just get way ahead of myself. Let me introduce myself too. I'm Carla White. I'm the founder and uh, CEO of Hero.fm. And uh, I'm here to really mess up these <laughs> live friends presentations <laughs> provide you with a little bit of Friday afternoon entertainment. <laughs> no. Uh, so, okay. So um, yeah, hero is a mix of a couple of things. It does audio shows. So I'm going to go into my account and uh, you can do private podcasts and this is driving me nuts. I might have to just quickly tell my developer to change my account, but um, you can do private gated podcasts. That means somebody has to give you something to get access to your podcast, meaning they have to give you an email or better yet money and they get access. Now, my background is mobile apps. So I want everything to be one tap simple because I got spoiled. I don't like pop-ups. I don't like big complicated stuff. So I also integrated SMS into this because that's a great way to grow your SMS list, which is like printing out money. Can I share something real quick? I had coffee with a friend the other day. Guess how much he makes from his SMS list per month. I want to hit just somebody put it in the chat. What number do you think he's making per month? Suzette. You must have read my mind with the 30, 10K, 330,000 a month. Yeah. He's like, I send out an SMS and I just get money in. Slacker. <laughs> he, he, he has, um, so he, he has an email, uh, newsletter. So he has like, and he's like, my SMS makes, I don't know. I, at least four or five times. I think it's more than that than his email newsletter does because the open rate, the click-through rate, like his click-through rate on the email is like 2% and his, um, his click-through rate on his SMSs is like 40%. 
So he's making, so anyway, that's why I'm like, give out your show, like create a show and just give it out for SMS. Like just do it. And the way you can do it with hero is you set up a keyword. No, you pay them, pay us money. And then <laughs> you can set up a keyword. And I feel your pain now, guys. <laughs> um, but you set up a keyword and uh, I'm going to do a demo in a little bit. I'm going to get my account set up. So the average ROI on SMS is 156 times. You guys seeing that in the chat? Spend a dollar, get 156 bucks back. Dang, I think I need to bring Colleen on for a uh, training someday because she is the queen of SMSs. She knows a lot. All right, so um, I'm going to stop sharing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, tell my developer to update my account. I'm going to swing back to this in a little bit. I want to share some bonuses that you got. And I see Steve raised his hand. So Steve, do you want to take it over and ask your question? Um, uh, sure. Hi, everybody. So I just had a quick question. Um, so it was, if you're on the business account, it's 97. If you go to the agency account, it's $20 for five accounts. So 125. Is that, did I get that right? Or... Uh, one second. Let me, I'm typing a message and I can't okay. type and think at the same time. So, yeah, okay. so I, was doing this. I, can, I looked down for a minute and then I like lost my way. So, um, it seems like the agency way is the way to go and you pay for five accounts, $20 a month, but you can charge whatever. Yeah. Right? Okay. So, gotcha. so my, my little Where's message to my developer is up. Yeah. Can you ask it one more time? Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, sure. So you were saying about, so the business account is $97 a month, mm -hmm. uh, but the agency account is $20 for five users. So, um, 120, yeah, 120 per month, but you get to charge your other people whatever you want. Correct. Right. So I love it. So you, yeah. it breaks down to each Perfect. user cost because that's what we yeah. wanted to do is compare apples to apples. That's if you're great. paying 97 for your account, you can turn around and go, look, they charge 97 on their um, website, right. but for you, my friend, I'm going to hook you up and I'm going to set you up for like, 50. 50 bucks. Yeah. Got it. And so that you're way you're making way. 30 bucks a month per client. Nice. I love it. Yeah. I love it. We're Great. paying Thank one you. year in advance. Yep. That's yep. right. Perfect. I love it. Okay. Awesome. Mark. Yeah. Quick question. Uh, a few weeks back, we talked about a resource for supplying the SMS text messages. I, I reached out to Colleen, but uh, I'm I'm assuming she was pretty busy. Were we able to, or were you able to have a meeting with whoever it was to try to replace Twilio as a provider? Because that's kind of been what's been holding me back from trying to, um, you know, put this into high speed, if you will. Tell next. Tell next. That's what we're going to implement. So you're going to be implementing that into Hero. Yes. Yeah. So, um, when we started those conversations about Telnex, we were already working on agency model. So this, now that this is released, got to tie up some ends and fix some things. Um, the next release is going to be a couple of things. It's going to be sample shows because we already started on that and it's about 90% done. Uh, so what that means is if you want to give out access to a show, you can say these three episodes are free, but to unlock the rest of the episodes, you have to pay money. So that way you can grow your list, get, get out samples and, um, uh, still get paid for them. And it's all within the app, like a little button in the app paid unlock. Okay. The other thing we're releasing is, um, Spotify. We needed, we need to get you or get your listeners the ability to listen to your shows on Spotify because there's a lot of people that ask for that. So that is also in the works. Uh, hopefully both of those will come before the new year. Don't know why it does that. 
I don't know why I randomly get balloons and I'll get thumbs up and stuff. Anyway, um, then Telnex, this is what Mark's talking about. So right now, in order to send out an SMS, we have Twilio integrated, which is great. It's fine, but it's Twilio. It's more expensive. And Telnex, yep, <clears throat> that's it. Uh, yeah, so they charge... If you're looking at the chat, it says four cents per message compared to seven, almost eight cents or 0 0.004 compared to, so it's like less than half of a cent per message, which when you start ramping this up, and this is what we got planned for 2024, all sorts of good ways in which you can automate all of this by giving out tips, just do a tip a day. And we're going to share how to do that. And uh, when you do a tip a day, then they come in. So yeah. Oh yeah. Carrier fees. Yep. So, so anyway, yeah, we're going to be integrating that. I can't wait. Uh, yeah, Sandy, that's a good question. You're in Australia. Um, I think Telnex does do international and it covers way more than uh, Twilio because we have a lot of people in Europe too. So Super cool. So, so for right now, we're sticking with Twilio because the integration is not there for Telnex then? Say that again? So right now, we just stick with Twilio because the integration is not there for Telnex? Not until probably January. Yeah. I don't I don't mind, quote unquote, the, the fees uh, because we know how to monetize it, right? But at the end of the day, with, with the challenge I have with Twilio is the hoops they keep making us jump yep. through to qualify, right? And, you know, they keep mm -hmm. cracking down and saying now... For no reason, you know, you have to re-qualify. You have to yep. prove that you're a legitimate business. And, you know, you have to go through all the hoops again. That's one of the reasons why I'm just like over Twilio. I mean, I've, I've used them for many, many years. Uh, I used to do um, applications as well, but I'm just tired of, of having to jump through the hoops. I just want to be able to do a plug and play and go from there. I hear you. Me too. Because what we started out when we started integrating SMS, we used to give people phone numbers and Twilio just kept making it harder and harder for us. So we're like, okay, just add your own phone number, which turned out to be good because now we're not married to Twilio. We'll go over and uh, integrate till next. So um, yeah, that's definitely uh, your best bet is to get a toll-free number. A bit more expensive. Yeah, I think, so. yeah, none of the 10 DLC hoops. Those are crazy, those 10 DLC hoops. So Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let me see. My developers sent me. <laughs> Which account do you want upgraded? All right. Let me tell them the account. Um, let me share what else we got. How many of you guys, how many of you guys plan on actually doing agency here and selling this being a service? Like, yeah. 25 unlimited. Ooh. Okay. Marcus. All right. So some of you guys, here's where, here's where I'm really super excited because I have, um, ran agencies. I've been part of consulting practices with Microsoft and big companies. And I learned a lot of stuff about running multi-million dollar projects. And I wanted to give you guys a head start on all this. So you could just get out and running. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to share my screen again and hopefully here we go. I'm going to share a software. We're going to give you free access. I'm going to buy you a one year subscription, which is worth $5,000. Okay. That's what they charge. And I'm going to get you a one year subscription to this platform called hero hub pro. And we're going to this is where you can manage all your leads. You can manage all your clients. You can chat with your clients. You can connect your Zoom and manage all your Zoom calls here. Um, you can build them. You can send them invoices. You can send them um, contracts, anything through all of, you can even manage your employees, all of that. So what we're going to do is give you this platform so that 
you don't go crazy with all the new clients you have. You're going to know exactly where they're at. All the communication will be in one spot, everything, all their bills, everything. And you can automate the payments. You can connect this to whatever payment platform you want. So you don't have to go out to Google Docs, create an invoice, send it to them, forget about it, forget that they didn't pay it. All these things that can run an agency in the ground. So if you want, we'll give you complete access to this whole thing so that you can start managing your customers. And some of you guys might already have a customer relationships management platform, the CRM, but some of you don't. And this is the exact platform that I use to manage my premium clients with. So um, when you get the agency model, we ask, we'll send you out an email and we'll say, hey, great, come over here, sign up. And then once you sign up, we'll get you upgraded to unlock all the features for a whole year. So you can start using this to manage all your customers. All right. Now, let me see. The other thing we're going to do, uh, I talked about, I have a free workshop coming up next Wednesday. Okay. So what I'm going to do in this workshop, and I'll drop the link, it's hero.fm free slash workshop. And it's next Wednesday. Let me drop it in here. And what I'm going to do, you know, well, you can read it, but what this is going to cover is how I've been using this one word system to grow my SMS list and how I'm doing it automatically on social media without having to show my face all the time without like having to talk to camera or all that stuff, because I don't like that. I don't like doing it, but there's some real cool ways that get high engagement. And what surprised me was the first day I did it, it worked. I got a sale. Like I didn't think <laughs> I'd have to like work on it for a while. So anyway, I'm going to go through that process on here. And basically it's passive income for all of you guys. If you uh, attend, you do what I say on this workshop. You should make money the day that day of the workshop. Okay, so that's um, going to come up next week, and that's a proper webinar. I'm going to have it like set up like a real webinar. Yes, there's going to be a pitch after, and it's going to be all attached to Hero and website and stuff like that. So um, people can it'll be an automated webinar down the road. Um, but I wanted you guys to come in and get the first look and glance from what we're creating here. Um, and like I said, the, the webinar is designed so that if you just showed up to the webinar, you didn't take action on anything, you still should make money if you implement what I say. So that is next Wednesday. All right. Let me, um, so we got, we got the free CRM. We got the new agency model. Uh, that's the new pricing we came up with. Just so you guys know, not, not messing about with the pricing. Um, is the CRM for agency plan only? Oh, you want it, Pierre? Um, I don't know. We were just thinking it would be, but reach out. We can hook you up probably. Let me know. I'm very generous. Uh, Diana, I don't know if it'll be 5000 after that. To be all honesty, this is a new platform that I, I started using it for my own business and then I just took it over. So the plans, um, let me just stop being the demo account and here's the accounts that we have. Um, no, packages, it's under packages. So like 5,000 a year is where 500 bucks a month, but I think I'm going to, I don't know, change those plans. That's what the, they had when I got it. Um, who knows? I will take care of you, Diana. You guys have been with us for a long, long time. So don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, we're going to give you that. Uh, oh, I know what else. So we're also going to give you some templates. And these are 
Canva templates. So if you want to create a proposal or you like, you have other services and packages that you want to do, it's like pricing, all of that. Um, and in addition to that, I'm going to put together a mini training series where it'll teach you what to do, like how to get your clients, how to close them. So how to get them to pay you for the time on the call. Cause when I, um, and I'm going to stop sharing for a minute here. When I ran my agency at first, I think I spent more time on calls, trying to close people just to get them to pay. And it was super frustrating. My, my money went like that. I went from feast to fathom, whatever <laughs> feast to <laughs> starvation to starvation for a while there. Yeah. Time sucks. There they were. And so what I did was I pivoted and I'm like, look, I want to really go deep. I want to figure out your business. I can't give you a proposal unless I do that. So I need you to pay me up front. In fact, on Monday, I have a client coming in. She's flying from Chicago and she did just that. She's like paid for a whole day of me so that we can come up with a plan to uh, map out her project. So, yeah, thank you, Steve. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so it, it, I'm so grateful for that because I, otherwise I probably would have spent like hours. And here's the other thing. When you do that, they aren't going to implement it. They it, like, it's so crazy. So anyway, I'm going to go on a tangent. Uh, the training teaches you like where to find your clients, how to get them to pay you in advance for all these proposals. And then uh, what type of proposals to give them, how to keep them happy, little things like that. I also am going to share uh, little tips and tricks so you can have um, like hourly rates for call plus a subscription. So they pay you on a subscription basis. So uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, so, so yeah, so that's going to, I'm going to pull that together, like in some magical number of hours that never appear in my day, <laughs> but I will get that together. Cause I really want you guys to crush it with this. Cause like when you guys crush it with agency, then it just pays for itself and it just keeps growing. Right. So this, I'm so excited. Um, I can't sign up for the workshop. Oh no. Oh no. Thank you. I probably should have tested it. Dang. Sorry, Rob. All right. Well, I will, uh, obviously you guys are getting an email <laughs> tomorrow morning, like declaring the greatness of this new workshop coming up. I will have it fixed by then. Pinky promise. <laughs> Yeah, let us <laughs> sell us more, sell us more. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, it's cool. It's all good. Um, I know you'll get it fixed. <sighs> so many little things. So, um, so those are the announcements. We got the new agency model. We got a workshop coming up next week. We got a uh, new CRM for anybody who gets the agency. We've got templates and we're going to do a mini training for all of you guys who get the agency because we really want you to crush it. Uh, oh, you used incognito mode and it worked for me after that. Is, are you talking about the uh, workshop? So everybody, you have to go into incognito. Yeah. This is why I just like to drop a Zoom link. You know how crazy it was just to get y'all on this call? Because I did a Zoom registration and everybody's like, I can't register because you got to use your Zoom email. And they tried to use a different email. So I got like 50 emails saying, I can't register. I can't register. And I'm like, yeah, you got to use Zoom. Sorry, man. So um, yeah, the, not easy. Text SMS opt-in. I should just do that. If you want to get into my webinar, just text a word to this number. In fact, it should be audio anyway, right? All right. So any questions, anything else, anything? I already received the thank you text message. Oh, good. So that's working. Thanks for letting me know, Eric. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I, I, if you're interested in agency, you still have questions, of course, you can reach out to me anytime. I'll talk you through it. And 
uh, next Wednesday. I do have some specials for you guys. Um, okay. So Colleen says incognito didn't work. So, all right, I'll get it fixed. You guys don't worry. We'll get this fixed. I'm glad you guys are interested. It's going to be super fun. Um, and also these tactics, if you are, um, planning on doing the agency model and you're like, I'm good because I'm not doing audios for myself. I'm doing them for somebody else. Actually, what I'm sharing on here, you can go to your client and go, can I set this up? In fact, oh, here's what I did. Oh, I should save this for a webinar. I'll save it for the webinar. No, I'll tell you. <laughs> here's what I did. Stop teasing us. <laughs> so here's what I did is because this works so easily, the system that I set up, um, it works so easily. I reached out to a friend of mine who has a huge following on um, TikTok and uh, Instagram. God, I don't even know the, the social media platform. She has a huge following. And I'm like, if I set this all up for you, like you don't pay me anything. I set this all up for you. And then I just get a percentage of the sales that come in through all of this. That's what you pay me for. She's like, sure. Cause she didn't have any, like no risk whatsoever. And I set it all up for her and I'm going to show you how to do it. Set it all up for her and boom, like another stream of passive income. And she's the one doing all the work, all the stuff. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So you guys, if you don't want to be posting online yourself, you can go to somebody else and they don't even need that big of a following. You just go, I'll do this completely free. In fact, I got a cold, the first cold, how many of you guys get cold emails? Any of y'all get cold emails? Like these emails out of the blue that say, Hey, we're friends on something or other. And I should reach out to you or like, it looks like a reply to an old other email. Yeah. <laughs> or random Facebook messages. So I got this, e this message from this guy. He's like, I don't think you're running enough, uh, promotions and campaigns. So if I did all of the work and then you just paid me a percentage of the sales that you make, would, would that be all right? Like you don't have to pay me any retainers, nothing up front, none of that. Just, I do the part of the work and get the sales in. And then you just pay me on what I bring in. I'm like, yeah, of course. Why not? So, and he had to like show so like he actually had the skills to do it, but, um, super great way to bring in money passively, right? Cause they're doing all the work. So, uh, what you can do is you can host little workshops that walk them through the process. So you can just basically use the system that I'm going to show you next Tuesday and show it to them and go, Hey, if you don't want to set this up yourself, just let me and I'll do it. I'll do it for you and I'll do it for free. So <laughs> who is this man? Sandy Foster says, <laughs> I'll send you his details. Maybe he'll give me a kickback away. He gets off of you and stuff like that. <laughs> I'll do. I, I don't know what his name is, but he's, and he was funny. This is the other thing I liked is he said, uh, chat GPT. I asked chat GPT who I should connect with. And it gave me your name. And then he goes, no, I'm absolutely lying. I got you off of some scrubbed list that I found, which I appreciate the honesty, right? I hate it when they're like, oh, I admire you. I've been following you forever. Or, I really love your podcast that I never listened to. So yeah, I'll, I'll send you the, the details, Sandy, if you want to know. For every client you add after the initial five, it is 20. You buy in. Okay. Yeah. The math is weird. My, my developers were like, I don't get this. So it's 20 per month, but you buy a year in advance of a five pack. So it's like 1200 bucks for each five pack for a year. Right. And everybody after that, it's, is Another. it in groups of five? Or? Groups of five. Correct. Yep. 
Okay. We do the same, but managing short form content for clients. We take advantage of long form and make bite-sized chunks for them. Oh, that's nice. Oh, well, that's really nice. I, when you said we're adding Hero FM, I thought you were like, you're going to do that for me in my company. I'm like, do it. <laughs> yeah. We'll need to talk, Mark. <laughs> Why not? So, well, remember, we talked a little bit now that you're doing the agency. You know, we were talking about your affiliate program. Oh, Mark, you think I am so smart. I'm not. I don't remember. <laughs> I know but we talked other... about you and the agency, but I don't quite remember the affiliate. I, I can't remember the other gentleman's name. He has glasses. He, both me and him were saying like, we're waiting for you to like, you know, launch this affiliate program because then you'll get a lot of people wanting to promote the program for that affiliate check. I do have an affiliate program. When we talked about it though, we were waiting for you to put it with agency so that we could push the agency model as affiliates. I see. I see. Yeah, you can do that today. I'm pretty sure. Let me make sure though. I'm going to check. Yeah, make sure. Make sure. Yeah. Because I don't want to be adding customers in manually and stuff like that. And ugh. Okay. Yep, I'll do that. Yep. And also the webinar that I'm putting on, if you want to bring them in that way. I don't yeah, know. That that if you it give us permission to towards, use that. Oh, sorry, Mark. I'm talking over you. I was just going to say, if you give us permission to use that, then we could take that and use that for marketing and probably chop it up and put it out there as little tiny chunks. Well, here's my plan with that is I'll have the webinar going and then I'm going to record an audio version. And so you could add the podcast. Um, the cover art will be made and the scripts. So if you don't want it to be in my voice, you want to clone your voice. And have AI do your own version. This is Mark and replace like that way you don't have to come up with the whole sales pitch and everything, or you can modify it however you want. Uh, so, so you have the whole package just like done for you, like an audio show already ready to go out, the, out of the gate. Is that, would well, that I be could, helpful? Yeah. Or I could probably use like my uh, nighttime DJ voice, like Hello, everybody. This is Kevin Slow Jam and James, and you're tuned in to the Carla Hero.fm show. I think you should. <laughs> Honestly, you guys don't. I mean, seriously, that my friend, um, Laura, she'll hear about this on the, the webinar, but we put this into place for her and She's not even using all of it. She's not collecting the SMSs, which I'm like, you got it, girl. Anyway, 30000 a month she's making passively. She goes and does a little reel. And she's like, I started this thing. I did this thing. Text a word yes below if you want access. And then she sends them into a subscription, 97 bucks a month. And it's a minimum of three months. You have to be a member. And her sales page says 247, struck out 97. So uh, this is, her name is Laura Benson. Laura Benson official or something like that is her, her Instagram handle. She lives close to, she lives in my town and has a farm here. Yep. Time to funnel hat. She does a really good job. You'll notice she'll do a reel and then I'll try and do something just like it. And I'm like, Laura, who does all your reels? They're so good. Like, can I hire this person? Yeah, she does. She does her own reels. So, but we we're getting, um, wicked smart. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, this is the big announcement Friday afternoon. Um, super pumped. We hope to have this done earlier, but we did get it out. Yep. There we go. Is that it? Laura Benson. This looks like Laura. Let me see. I'll click on it and find out. Yep. That's her. Mm -hmm. The business grower membership and it's a private podcast. And then she has one-on-one -on -one coaching. So uh, you want to hear something cool? She doesn't do this. 
I'm going to meet with her next week and I'm going to ask her about this. But um, another woman that I work with, she has uh, one-on-one coaching, 500 bucks for an hour sort of thing. But if you're in her membership, it's 400 bucks and her membership is 97 bucks a month. So it's like, oh, I do one session. It paid for, you know, and so it's kind of like, oh, well, I probably should do another session with her because then I get my membership for free. <laughs> so it's a really cool way to justify that. And then she gives out a little gift in the mail. So you're feeling special. I, w- I want to do that. I want to send out t-shirts and stuff like that. So um, yeah, yeah. There's so many cool things you can do with your membership or with your pricing to get people into a membership. And membership is so golden because what she shared with me was, um, was it last year, last spring, she took a big chunk of time off because her son was graduating from high school and she wanted to spend those last months as much time with him as possible before we went off to college. And so she just like, didn't take any calls. And her membership brought in a good $10,000 a month. So she was fine. She's like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to like suffer at all. She's not making as much, but she did okay. So Mark says it's right up our alley with what we're working on with POD right now. Beautiful passive income. Yeah, it is so important. And there's so many ways to do it. So and software is probably the hardest way <laughs> to do it. <laughs> so, so um, let me see if my account, my my guy came back to me. He said it's done. So let me go and uh, give you that. Finally, <laughs> 30, 50 minutes into the call, I'm going to go through and share this. How Hero works. Because I think there was somebody in the chat that's like never heard, hear, heard of Hero. So I'm going to quickly create um, a show. Let me do that here. Let me see if it's, is it going to, is he going to let me? No, this isn't it. So let me go into uh, here. All right. Okay. So I'm going to show you how cool it's so easy to make a show. It's so crazy. So let's just, Oh, thanks, bud. He said it was done. I don't think he liked me after I did this to him. (laughs) After I made him do this update. (laughs) I think, oh, he does love me. Okay. Uh, So this is my fantastic show. Give it a cool title. And then whoever the name is, and I'll just put me. And then some cover art. Now we have a cover art maker. Or you can, and I think I have a demo. Let's do this. Boom, some cover art. And by the way, this cover art right here that you're seeing here, I created in Canva in like two minutes using a template. I just changed out the text, added a different background, and that's it. So you don't have to, that's the beauty of private podcasts is you don't have to have that great of a cover. You don't need intros and outros. Um, this is the summary. And then with hero <clears throat> and you can change the colors. These will be on the sales pages. I like to use auto because then it's just going to pick out a color from your cover art. So it'll probably be black based on this cover. Art. Um, But this is what makes Hero different than regular podcast uh, distribution platforms. It's how users can get your shows. You get a lot more control over that. With regular podcast platforms, you have to set a date and then the listeners get access to that episode on that date and time. But I wanted things to be evergreen. So you set something up once like a course or the webinar thing that I'm talking about that'll sell this and the, the agency and everything. And it's evergreen. So you can drip out episodes and you can set up that they go out 24 hours after each other, or, Hey, they're not getting the next episode till they listen to the first one. You can set that up. 
or, or you can do it like a regular podcast specific date. Let's do it that day. All right. So, and then you can also create urgency and the best way to create urgency is say, Hey, it's going to be gone. So we have uh, different ways you can remove access automatically. Then your owner let's put in my details and copyright and then the access email. And I don't know if you guys know this, but you can connect your email address. You can connect different email addresses and that email will come from you, not from us, which is very important for your brand and everything else. Okay. Then you can see how everything's set up, create the show. And when you do that, you can upload your MP3s or your uh, videos. If you upload videos, Hero will convert them to audios. Mind you, if you have a four hour video, it probably won't convert. <laughs> It'll probably crash our servers. But once you get that done, then uh, change out the title because it just defaults to the text of the file, the file name. Welcome. Um, and certain things you can do. So this is really cool. You can set the episode as required. So when you do that, and then you can set up an automation that says, Hey, if they didn't listen to that episode, send them email, send them an email or send them a text or send them an in-app notification. I usually do this and just say, Hey, is everything okay? Do you guys, you know, uh, are you still interested in this? And sometimes it'll be like, I don't want to listen to all this. I just want to get on a call with you. So you can set episodes as required and then as a sample. Now, right now, that sample is on your no code sales page that comes with each show. But in the future, like maybe next week, fingers crossed, it'll come in the samples if you're giving out samples of your show. So people can get access to four episodes, five episodes, whatever for free, and they have to pay to unlock. Um, because this is set to all at once, I can change the order of the episodes. You add in a summary. Uh, you can have our AI transcribe it, or you can pa paste in the transcription. And then lastly is notes. And with notes, it appears directly in the podcast player. And you can put in links to things. I like to, like, if there's a video they need to watch, I'll just say in the audio, hey, I'm going to, there's a video right in the notes. And I'll also say, I'm going to uh, email that to you right now. I'm going to send it to you in a text message right now, that video. So you got it. And that way, I don't need a membership site at all. I don't have to do it. I still do membership sites, but for smaller trainings, I just kind of do this. Like when I do the training for the uh, agency model, it's just going to be a podcast. I'm not doing all video, man. You got to be kidding me. No way. Too much work. All right. Then the last thing is, is make sure it is live. You have to have at least one episode live. And um, then you can set up. Let me go. Save it. Okay, let me go down here. And this is one I set up yesterday, same cover art, but uh, you can set up your sales page. So this is a no code sales page. And when we designed this, it's very minimal, but very powerful because what we did was we went through hundreds of sales pages and we looked at, well, what's on each page? What do we actually need for sure? So you set the price. Um, if you want to pay, if you want them to pay for it, you have to connect a Stripe account. So that money goes directly into your account. We take nothing. It all goes to you. Uh, you can have your own domain. So if I wanted to use uh, some other domain, I could do that, but I'm just going to keep it here for now. You can categorize your shows. So like some of my shows are about mindset. Some of them are about business. So it'd be cool to just like only have the mindset one show up on the mindset pages, right? I don't want them to see all of that. And then change the language. We have a few languages here that you can use. And you can also change the language in the player app or they can pick their language in the player app. <clears throat> the other thing is, is being able to track 
have your pixel and your analytics on there, which is really important. And something about the show. And we have examples that we gave you before AI came out. This was in there. So we were like, how can we make it easy for them? But now we have AI. AI can write it. Um, and then you can add reviews, as in, add as many as you want. We do want to add it in so the users can review themselves and put in their own comments, which would be really good. Um, and then some FAQs. So once you have all that done, and let's go into overview, and you have a sales page like this. Now it's in preview mode. I don't have it live right now, but this is pretty much what it looks like. And then here's all my shows. So we can go in and you also get your own profile page. So this would be kind of cool to link in your social media headers, in your uh, Instagram and in your email footers, whatever your signatures, you just put it right here. <clears throat> so, or direct it to here. All right. So that is creating the show and the sales page. Keyword opt-in is the thing that I'm talking about. So you can create a new word and we'll just do agency. And then you can give them, when they text that word, you can give them access to a show and you pick your show or you can give them access to the sales page and you pick the sales page for that show or a custom URL, or you just create the contact only. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this show. And then you can see over here what they will see for text messages. We, you can ask them for their email. You can ask them for their name. You can turn those off if you don't want to. And that's it. You save the keyword and you're good to go. Then what's really cool is I don't know how many, how many of you guys showed up because you got my text message like about an hour ago. Any of y'all? I'm going to see in the chat. Steve did. Okay. Suzette. So yeah. Oh, here. See a few people didn't like that. I text them. <laughs> so, uh, so I set out this, I scheduled it yesterday and I put this, I'm about to unveil our most epic, um, hero update ever. Here's the zoom link. And I sent it out and you know, it's a great way to suddenly get, yeah, Rob's here. So there's a, yeah, look at this. You have 800 emails for what? Oh, for just you? Wait, what? I, yeah. And my inbox has over what I have. I have like over 800 emails. <laughs> it's crazy. And I have to kind of go through some of them. So the text works a hundred percent. Oh, you got 800. Yeah. I, I have. Yeah. Not, they're not up from you in Nero. Yes. I have 800 emails in my, you know, three or four inboxes combined. So the text was great because it, and the 10 minutes out was great. Oh, because I like, see what you mean. Okay, I I'm got you. Yes. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm Which by the way, right Steve, <clears throat> I just had something pop into my head, which we could do together. So uh, reach out to me afterwards. Okay. Oh, me? Steve, yeah, okay. Steve now okay. owns my app, Gratitude Journal. So uh, I had an idea with that. So he's okay. the proud owner Great. of the Gratitude app. Yay. Right. Um, I'm so grateful to, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, hey, it, it's cool. I love it that you own it. You you used it yourself. Yeah. So, okay. Yep. So um, inboxes, and then these are the campaigns. So I could chat with these people. Like, no, Kim, I'm not going to start chat stop it no i'm not gonna do that but um very very powerful and then here's our automations and let me just uh open this one up you can set an on automation to trigger on a show so we'll, for this specific automation on day two replay when they get to this minute i'm going to send them a push notification that says they're this is your homework and then um, this must have been something I didn't finish because there's not much here. But if they stop listening, I send them an SMS that says, hey, everything okay. And you can set these up automatically to send them emails, SMS, uh, in-app notifications. You can, use, we have webhooks 
So you can uh, send their details to like one of those ringless calls and do a ringless call if you wanted. We don't have that baked in, but you can do all sorts of stuff with those automations. Um, do you have a marketplace? No, Chris, but we are talking with somebody who built a marketplace software and he has a white label version. So rather than me building from scratch, I want to figure out how to do that. Uh, the, the biggest part with the marketplace isn't so much the technology, it's making sure that the content out there um, passes the grade, if you know what I mean. So like with the mobile app, with iPhone, every time you submit an update or submit an app, it has to go through an approval process. So there's a lot of checks you have to do. So in order for us to start a marketplace, I have to find out from lawyers and other advisors, do we need an approval process first to make sure that all the shows are kosher and they're not breaking any like sort of laws or anything like that. So, cause I think then, uh, yeah. Cause I think Mark Zuckerberg's facing that right now with the state of Arizona. Um, <laughs> and Hero FM is very powerful as long as it's put to use. So many people out there want and need this one. Uh, one just has to let them know it exists. Yes. That is so true. And you know what I'm doing with that, Mark? Screenshot. That's going to show up on the hero sales page. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Oh, you can no. all just feel free to do stuff like that. Just everybody write something and I'll screenshot it. And if you want me to scribble out your name, I will. <laughs> so, um, I, no, I absolutely appreciate that. I appreciate the feedback um, in all honesty. There were many times and I can bring on friends where I they'll vouch for this. I was like, I'm deleting it. I am deleting everything. I am hitting the delete button on it all. I am putting it in the garbage. I am done, 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 done. No more. And people have talked me off that ledge more than once or by chance a miracle happened where I was talked off the ledge. So um, but yeah, so anyway, profile page is down here. So this is where you can set up all your URLs and everything. And each creator gets their own profile page. Um, and for each creator, you can connect their Stripe account, their Twilio details, uh, as many domains as they like, as many emails. We are getting the Gmail thing fixed. Okay, so if you go in here and you select Google and you continue, uh, let's see. Let me just try, let me try this one. I don't know if that one's already connected. Yeah, okay, it says Google hasn't verified this app. Well, Google has been kind of a poopy pants because we submitted this years like months ago and they have not, they keep nitpicking. You don't have this in your terms. You don't have this, like it has nothing to do with the app. It's all about our legal, legal policies and stuff like that. So um, if you click go to Hero FM and it says unsafe, it truly is safe. And then boom, you can test the connection good. It all works. Oh, email already exists. So there we go. Um, but, uh, but you can connect your Gmail. It's Google's just been back. We've been back and forth with them every day for weeks. It's always like, okay, we got it done. Resubmit. And then they find something else. And it's nothing to do with the technical security of it. It's all legal terms and all of that. So, um, <laughs> Away. Yeah, you've been there, huh? Google, there's like three companies that rule every SaaS that's out there. And Google is one of them. <laughs> they just like, you can't go anywhere without it. Um, all right. Partnership. <clears throat> each, you can, each, uh, um, each sub user that you set up, you can set up um, 
their own affiliate account. And then you take their affiliate ID and put it in here. So any listener they have, uh, like my friend who I did a partnership with, uh, if I set her up as an affiliate, then any listener she had that went to hero, she'd get, I think 30% of recurring of each person. And she didn't even have to promote it. It's just that they went from the app to the sales page and signed up. Um, you can put, you can create a, a partner account for them, or you can put your details in there and make even more money. Uh, just saying up to you. Uh, so that's another way to make money. And then notifications, this hasn't been done yet, but we are going to separate out these notifications so that the sub account user, your customers only get certain notifications and then you can select which ones you want to get. But um, like news and events, maybe the sub accounts, like my customers don't need that. Um, but new listener to their product, yeah, maybe they'd probably want that or a new SMS message, maybe. So um, you can set those up per person, per sub user. Uh, and I think that's, that's it. Oh, you set me up so I can add accounts. It's super easy. So this picture, uh, let me put this in here. So that picture is what's going to appear in the player app. Okay. So you kind of really want to have a picture of the, the sub account user. And then Peter, I can't remember his last name, Jones or something. And then you put in their email. I wonder if it's going to say, no, there's already an account with this. Yep. Oh, upgrade to access. Dude, didn't really give me that. Dang it. All right. Let me just try something else. Different email. Nope. Not going to let me. He still hasn't given me full access. So um, anyway, add them in and then they'll appear down here in the list. Much like this one. And also this should update for each user. I don't think, I don't know if that's because I'm not properly. Yeah, there it goes. So it updated for that other user, but it's not instantly. That's a bug. Yeah. Okay. Make a note. So that's it guys. That's the big news. You get the agency, you get uh, the CRM, you get the templates. Those three things you'll get today, uh, but the training I'm gonna put together, okay? So that's coming next week. And Steve, did you raise your hand or were you just give me a high five? <laughs> just a high five, okay. It's a high five and that was fantastic. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you, Michelle. Very exciting. Thank you for putting this together. Well, thank you for coming. Uh, next week, I will have the link to that page. All right. So I know you guys get a million emails and I know it's really easy to just go delete, delete, delete. I'm not really good at sending out a lot of notification emails. You are getting one, I think, Saturday. Okay, that one's already in the trigger, ready to pull. And so watch for it and it we'll have the link to the workshop. I definitely will put it into our group, into our, uh, our Facebook group. Are you guys in the Facebook group? Let me put the link down here. Um, I think I have everyone in the meeting. I'm gonna put the link down here. So if you're not in the Facebook group, uh, then I can do that. So, and our weekly Tuesdays at two, uh, this Tuesday, it's Wednesday at one, I think is the that time. Uh, so it's going to be that, that workshop. And then after that, I think it's Christmas, right? Are we in Christmas mode then? No, 
We got one, one more Tuesday at two, the 19th. And then we got a couple of weeks of Christmas where we probably won't have anything because of the holidays. And then we'll kick it off again in the new year. So awesome. You're welcome, Xavier. Thank you guys all for coming. Have a great, great weekend. And if you guys need anything or you find any issues, because this was a huge, huge update. So bear with us as we get through all these changes, but just reach out to us and let us know because we may not find everything. So a uh, couple of things, update your Zapier. Make sure that you, if you're using Hero Zaps uh, in your Zaps, make sure you reconnect or that they are connected. I had some problems with mine. I don't know if everybody does. And uh, if you're not seeing your shows, just hit refresh on the page and uh, it'll update. So Neil, thank you for coming. You guys have a good weekend. And if I get my nutcrackers, I'll be sure to post a picture in the group. All right. Bye guys. Have a good weekend.